Greetings my friends, how are you doing? This is Zed from Zed Outdoors, I hope you're having an awesome day. So, Zed Outdoors is indoors and you're probably thinking, Zed, why are you indoors? You should be outdoors, mate. Well, there's a reason why I'm indoors. Um, firstly, this is my uh, garage at the back of my house. Now, the situation here at the moment is, um, I used to use this as a bit of a work area, you know, to do projects and all sorts of stuff and DIY type stuff. Um, and over the next two months, we've got a lot of building work happening in the main house. Um, and also we have a storage garage as well and because of that there's a lot of turmoil things are all over the place for the next two months so what I've had to do temporarily for the next two months is move all my belongings in here all my storage stuff um, and hence why at the moment you can't see it but it's packed out with all of my personal belongings however I've managed to salvage a small work area right so for the next two months this is my work area that I've managed to salvage and start to kind of like put together um, in two months time all being well there's a garage next door which obviously is out of the frame of this shot but all being well in two months time um, I'm going to have that as my dedicated workshop it's quite a large space <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is obviously clear all of that out that's going to take a bit of time uh, and build a full plan workshop you know with woodworking area blacksmithing area knife making area uh, metal work and a whole array of things so I'm really looking forward to that however for the next two months this is it, this is my workspace here, but I'm grateful that I've even got that. Now, rewinding back two years ago when I started my bushcraft journey, um, as a lot of you can probably relate to what I'm about to say, you know, you build up a lot of kit, you know, that you're using, um, and along the way, you kind of reach this point where a lot of people do in a bushcraft space where you have conventional kit, but you want to customize it, you know, you want to make it your own. Um, and let's be honest here, a lot of customization, so a lot of it's practical, you know, that you want to do, like modifications to your kit or make accessories. And a lot of it is just aesthetics, you know, makes it look nice. Now, I'm going to be quite honest here, I take a lot of enjoyment out of that. You know, I'm at an age and a point in my life now where I don't go out clubbing and do any of these things. Uh, I've kind of done that, got the t-shirt. And for me now, I take a lot of enjoyment out of just, you know, being able to spend some time at home uh, and just like, modify my kit and do a few bits and bobs. But to other people, that might be a little bit sad, but to me, I, I really enjoy that. Um, and so, obviously, I've accumulated a lot of kit. Now, here you can see, now, this is actually organised, believe it or not. Um, but a lot of this is my kit that I kind of pick and select from, from a, you know, for a whole array of trips that I need to take. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is over the past kind of six, seven months, obviously I've been very quiet on my YouTube channel, been busy working on my business. Um, and during that time, the little time I had, I've been making a comprehensive list of all the kit I got and all the modifications I want to do to it, the things I want to kind of amend it and modify it and stuff. Um, and I've got this massive list of stuff that I'm going to be doing now. And I made a decision literally just a few days ago that I'm going to start documenting a lot of it. I personally, I thought a lot of it, a lot of you might not be interested in, you know. Um, but as I've kind of started to kind of work on it, I'm getting a lot of feedback saying, look, we want to see what you're doing. And I thought this could be like a two-way thing where obviously I will show all these little, little projects that I've been doing, like in terms of modification of kit and making pouches and what have you not. Um, and obviously... I'm very I'm a beginner at all of this so obviously I'll share what I'm doing and obviously I can get a feedback from you guys you can give me some advice I know there's some of you watching this video right now that are very 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 talented at what you do be it leather work woodworking blacksmithing and so forth way more talented than I am um, and so this could be like a two-way thing um, and I get a lot of enjoyment out of that like I said you know there's a lot of stuff I want to modify and stuff um, and so a lot of this is new for me you know being quite transparent with you i'm not a hands-on kind of guy like my brain doesn't work in this diy kind of mindset so a lot of this stuff doesn't come naturally to me like woodworking and stuff leather work it doesn't come naturally to me i have to work quite hard at getting good at, good at this stuff but everything that i'm going to be doing is literally none of it's to sell it's just for me you know and there's a lot of stuff i'm going to be making as to give us gifts uh, to other friends of mine in in our bushcraft stroke outdoors stroke craft space um so that's where I'm at right now. So the reason why I'm doing this video is to let you know that over the coming weeks and months, um, I'm going to be documenting a lot of my, my projects that I'm going to be working at in this space here for the next two months. Then after that, I'm going to be a full-blown workshop. Um, and like I said, a lot of the projects aren't going to be anything you know amazing. It's not going to be like this big kind of knife build or something, you know. That's actually down the line. But for the here and now, it's going to be little, little projects. I'm making a little pouch for this and carving out some toggles for that and you know like modifications to some kit there's a whole array of things so a lot of the projects might be very very simple in principle but for me it's a way of getting good at this stuff by making little little kind of items first 
uh, and in building up my skill set, be it leather working, textiles and so forth. I've even actually recently been given a sewing machine by a relative. Um, so look at that. Never, point it'd be a, never thought there'd be a point in my life where I get so excited about a sewing machine. Um, so all of these things are very new to me. So I'm going to be documenting again. This is a video just to kind of let you know. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I, I appreciate it's not for everyone, okay? Uh, but for those of you that are interested, you know, I will be documenting that. So what I'll do, let me actually do a quick zoom up uh, and I'll show you a few of the kits I'm going to be mod modifying. Like I said, you know, there's a massive list of items that I'm going to be doing mods to uh, and making stuff for, uh, accessories. Um, but let me do a quick zoom up just to give you a bit of a, a, a taster in terms of what I'm going to be up to. So here you go, this is just a small selection of the projects that I'm going to be working on. So in no particular order, obviously I have the ubiquitous uh, op or knife. With this I'm going to do some engraving, um, I'm going to do some decoration on this, I'm going to attach a lanyard and do some leather, kind of, you know, like weaving and what have you not. Uh, I'm also going to make a sheath for this as well. Uh, this is the UK, a UK Lantern, this is a, a separate um, a case that I bought for it. And so with this one I'm going to make actually a leather. Uh, a sturdy leather uh, case for this. This is obviously um, ammo pouch, flask, you know, this is quite a common thing. I love this this item. But this one, what I'm going to do is uh, make a leather sleeve for this, you know, and kind of like decorate that. Uh, these are gimlets, so I got introduced to these by Mike MCQ. Uh, these are kind of used to bore holes in wood. So uh, I've got a pair of these, it's actually quite difficult to get hold of, so I've got these on eBay. So I'm going to be using these two, um, and last I'm going to make a sheath for this and sharpen them up and what have you not. So you've got that. Uh, this is the Kapilka set, obviously, you know, of, of, of kind of uh, dishware. This needs our introduction, it's quite a common item in our community. So with these ones, once again, I'll do some customization, do some leather wraps and carve some toggles. I can hang it off my belt or my back, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'll leave this item actually to a last, I'm going to show this. Um, so this here is my ongoing uh, maintenance and repair kit uh, so for my tools to make projects while I'm out in the field to maintain my kit repair my kit uh, repair everything you know so this is like I said the first iteration this is not a review of this I'm going to be doing that down the line when everything's ready but just to give you a small taster this is still what I'm going to be, I use to kind of like remove rust from my knives and that so I'm going to make a little pouch for this uh, make a little pouch for the Gorilla Tape and Glue um, a funky little pouch for beeswax um, I make a dedicated sewing kit, so that's going to be quite a fun uh, project. This is a very, very cheap awl. Um, this is the package it came under. So with this one, I'm going to redo the handle and a sheath and a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this is a stropping compound uh, that I'm going to be making a little sheath for. Um, and like I said, a few other bits I'm going to be adding to this, um, including these gimlets. This is all kind of part of the repair and maintenance kit. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing there. Um, and even with this pouch itself, I'm going to be you know, carving a toggle and doing a whole bunch of stuff just to kind of pimp it out, basically. Um, and that's it. That's, that's literally a small, tiny... Um, sample of the kind of projects I'm going to be working on moving forward. So I'll look to do individual videos on each one. A lot of these videos will be very short because the projects are very straightforward, like making a, a, a very simple, simple no frills leather sheath for that would just take minutes. Um, so stuff like that, but I will nonetheless just separate them out um, and just kind of work from there. So like I said, this is a very small selection. This I want to show you here, this is by a friend of mine, Mike, who's, um, there's a lot of Mikes in our community, right? But it's a guy called Mike who runs a channel called Agile Woodsman. He's a really, really nice guy from out the US. I connected with him a while ago, probably about a year ago. Uh, and I started binging out on his videos a while, about, a while ago where he'd done um, a series of really educational videos about leathercraft. And he's a very talented craftsman and outdoorsman. And um, he's done some absolutely incredible videos. A while ago he put them out to do with leatherwork and kind of a complete guide for beginners that I learned so much from. Now what I'm going to do is actually link to Mike's video, the one that I actually watched below uh, this video here. I would highly encourage you to go watch that and watch the other, other videos he's got on, on especially leather work uh, and crafts in general. Um, and definitely check out his channel, he's a really nice guy with a lot, a lot of knowledge, a uh, very humble guy too. Uh, and I commissioned off him, uh, this off him a while ago. Um, and this is basically, uh, he's made all of this himself. So this is a hand carved uh, antler whistle that I'm gonna, um, he's, he's put it as part of a kind of fob. Uh, on this lanyard uh, and he's told me to kind of separate them out and use them in different bits of kit should I wish and that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to attach this antler whistle to my backpack so it's on the sleeve uh, so it's ready access there's a real tiny carved bone uh, pendant here I'm going to attach to another piece of my kit I've already got in mind um, this is a beautiful one made from uh, bird's feathers he actually told me which feather it was I slipped my mind um, so this is going to attach to a notebook that I've got uh, recently acquired um, 
So, you know, this is just to kind of like illustrate, I want to get to this kind of level where, you know, uh, really skilled, you know, just trying to make stuff myself. Um, I'm going to use a lever cord, obviously, this is going to come in use in a lot of different projects. Uh, like I said, I will link to Mike's uh, video uh, below in this video uh, uh, that you're watching now. Please do go check out his channel. He's, he's, he does some incredible videos, uh, very informative, very educational tutorials that I learned a lot from and actually revisit to watch over and over again. So there you go, like I said, this is just a very humble beginnings of a little workspace that's steadily building up. And this is literally just a tiny sample of the many, many projects um, that I'm gonna be working on moving forward and hopefully documenting uh, on this channel uh, to see what I, what I do. So there you go, that is just, like I said, a small sample of the many, many projects I'm gonna be doing. So this video, in short, is just to let you know that you know, I take a lot, of, a lot of joy out of customizing kit. It's, Aesthetically, it makes it look nice. I get a lot of joy out of it, and also from a functionality point of view, with some of the modifications, it, it's just a better, be, better thing all round. Um, so, like I said, I will be moving uh, forward with kind of documenting a lot of what I've been doing. A lot of the projects, like I said, will be very, very tiny projects, um, all the way to stuff that's a lot more involved. Uh, and none of it is from a tutorial point of view. It's just literally just to document what I'm doing. A to maybe give you some ideas and vice versa for those of you that are talented to let me know give me some ideas as well but also intrinsically it comes down to this also and that is by working on really really small projects like carving a toll call or making a tiny little leather sheath um, I'm kind of enforcing a new set of skills for me like I said a lot of this stuff does not come easy to me this hands-on stuff um, and so for me it's just a completely different way of learning I've always been a kind of very brains oriented guy computer and admin and what have you not um, so this is a very new thing to me and it doesn't come naturally um, but I'm looking forward to the challenge but by working on these tiny tiny projects is how I start to kind of develop these skills and in, in the coming months not even that far off I'm going to be making a lot more involved projects I'm talking actual you know, making knives and you know with full blown cheese and um, you know forging you know uh, steel strikers and squirrel cookers and you know, uh, um, yeah, do some real fancy kind of wood, you know, wood, woodworking projects and and everything in between. Uh, a lot of textiles based projects also. I'm uh, making backpacks and, and what have you not. Um, so there you go, man. This is a video to say I'm going to be documenting all of it. I appreciate it's not for everyone, but for those of you that may be interested, uh, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, why, 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 why haven't you subscribed? I'm joking. Uh, you see a logo on the screen now. If you're not on my YouTube channel. Um, if you're on a YouTube channel, just click uh, the subscribe button. If you're elsewhere, just click the logo and subscribe and you know, you'll be kept up to breast uh, with a lot of the projects I'm going to be working on. Needless to say, I'm meeting up with a lot of experts now that I'm going to be documenting that are actual experts in leather work and blacksmithing and metal work and knife making and woodwork um, and all of the above. So it's going to be a combination of actual experts being documented on videos moving forward and also you know, little humble projects that I'll work on myself. So there you go, man. So. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you look forward to kind of seeing me putting out um, a lot of these small projects I'm going to be working on. And as always, I do appreciate you watching. And I hope whatever you're doing, you have a blessed day, a blessed week ahead. This is Ed from Z Outdoors. Peace out.